this happened a year ago and what happened was that I started eating eggs again or it was an experiment so I've been trying to wrap my head around this and come up with a great opinion and turns out I just really can't and that's really weird for me I, I spend a lot of time usually thinking things through and I come up with all possible scenarios and all the variables as you've seen from the title and as you probably know if you clicked on this video John Venus, uh, the big and bodybuilder, ate eggs for like two days, he ate like 12 eggs uh, he says that that was an experiment uh, to try and see if he would feel better somehow uh, because a lot of people online are saying that they ate eggs and they felt really really better uh, after just one egg uh, their libido came up, all their pain went away all of this crazy crazy uh, anecdotal stuff and that has no scientific backing whatsoever but um, he kind of got into that and he decided after four years of being vegan he decided to try eggs to see if he felt better uh, now I actually have a pretty long story with John so I might be a little biased uh, I started following John when he had like 200 subscribers I'm one of his first ever subscribers I was 15 or 16 at the time and I wasn't vegan he wasn't vegan I was getting into fitness and all and he was already into fitness and was getting into YouTube fitness he wasn't vegan so I saw a lot of videos of him eating meat uh, he went vegan and like after one year I went vegan as well so I pretty much watched all these videos from the very very start now the funny thing is I lived in Portugal in the countryside of Portugal a very small village and he lives uh, used to live in Norway in a very small village in the countryside of Norway and then he moved to Barcelona uh, to be with his parents and after one or two years I also went to Barcelona and became an exchange student that was my semester abroad and I actually messaged him uh, to say if he wanted to meet up I don't know if he remembered me from some comments from the beginning of his videos or anything but at this time I was already starting my own social media I already had over 10k on Instagram and I had just started my YouTube channel so he was really cool he said yes we set up a place and we had lunch me John uh, Catherine Leo his brother Leo was also there and Josh from vegan fit was also there so we had a great lunch uh, after a couple of months before I came back to Portugal I messaged him again saying that I would like to work out with him because I was coming back and we may never see each other again this was also around the time that I got my Vivo Life sponsorship so that was great because he was one of the first Vivo Life athletes uh, and I was also one of the first Vivo Life athletes so we did a workout together I came back and we only saw together last year in Bashfest London okay so I have spent some time with him now I never really thought that he was gonna eat any animal products again uh, that came out as a sho shock to me and probably to most people uh, and I know a lot of people said I can't say I'm surprised because of the I'm not identifying as a vegan video uh, because I was actually surprised because I know at least I think I know that John is a vegan at heart just like I am vegan at heart so he tried eggs to see if he felt better uh, and he also said that th it was because uh, he wanted to see if his kid was missing out on something nutrition wise now this argument I don't think it makes a lot of sense because John knows that uh, you can be healthy on a vegan diet that a vegan diet is suitable for uh, for all ages he, his brother is a doctor his wife is a nutritionist uh, okay he really knows this um, now I don't know if he got convinced by the carnivores uh, on the, of the internet maybe that was it maybe he got really convinced maybe he got really convinced that science doesn't show us everything and that anecdotal evidence is important I don't know if he got convinced by that I wouldn't but maybe he got and I also don't know if he has been feeling 
bad somehow. We don't know that. Maybe he has been feeling kind of down lately. Now, I do have a small theory that I don't think justifies this, but I do have a small theory that because he's been dealing with a back injury for so long and he has, hasn't been able to train hard for so long, maybe that got in there in his head, in his psychology, that maybe if he ate eggs, he would feel better or something like that. Uh, which personally, I still don't think that makes a lot of sense, but, may, but maybe he did. Because I also dealt with a shoulder injury like three years ago. I was out of the gym for six months and I can tell you I started to be pretty pretty miserable. And for people like us, uh, working out is really, really important, not just for my physical health, but for my mental health. That was the semester in college, the semester that I was out of the gym, that I had the worst grades ever. It's funny how I had way more time, because I wasn't working out every day for one or two hours, uh, but my grades really went down and I studied more time but I just my brain wasn't able to perform at the same level my happiness wasn't at the same level uh, and I know these things can get into someone's head so maybe that's what happened and yes uh, if you're thinking that all of this is weird yes we are probably addicted to working out okay don't judge <laughs> okay so he tried it and he didn't feel any different big surprise and I've actually said not on this channel but on my Portuguese channel that I would be uh, okay with me trying animal products again if it was for an experiment now before you come out <laughs> saying uh, that I'm not vegan or something like that I would only do it probably with eggs or milk I couldn't do it with uh, meat and I would do it under medical supervision that means I would take all my blood work before, during and after just to make a real experiment to show people for example that eggs do raise cholesterol. We have tons of studies showing that uh, but a lot, a lot of people still don't believe it and I could show it. I could take a blood test, eat five eggs and then take a blood test again and show that my cholesterol went up. I would actually be open to doing that and I've said that before. Now I would only do that if it was from backyard chickens uh, uh, and I know John tried to do backyard chickens as well uh, although I don't know if it was a backyard farm or actually backyard chickens because well I live in the countryside of Portugal all my neighbors raise chickens most of them do kill their chickens okay uh, most of them do take their eggs uh, but there are some who never kill their chickens really and they just wander around uh, and put their eggs and yeah most of those eggs go to the garbage uh, and I know chickens sometimes really eat their eggs to get the calcium back and all of that okay that's true but they really don't need that many eggs and I also know and this is where it gets tricky that just the idea of eating something that came out of an animal it is kind of morally wrong okay I, I do agree with that and I do agree that what John did uh, wasn't moral and I do agree that this experiment wouldn't be moral okay but sometimes we need to think of the trade-off of things um, will I really be hurting the chickens if I just took the eggs that were going to the garbage uh, really literally the garbage in front of my own house I really wouldn't be hurting the chicken but I could prove and convince a lot of people that eggs raise our cholesterol that would be an interesting experiment to do ethically I still think that's a positive because I could make if I ate 12 eggs and made people uh, not eat uh, 100 or 500 eggs that would be good on a ethical scale I guess I know this is a really tricky subject oh, and another thing uh, I think it's really really weird and we are giving an argument to the carnivore dieters uh, that we care so much because someone ate 12 eggs a year ago on the vegan side uh, so it's really interesting to see what makes you vegan over the long run for example we all agree that if you eat something that wasn't vegan but you don't know because it had honey or something or milk or something like that you're still vegan okay it was a mistake you didn't know now if you've been vegan for four years and you eat two eggs on purpose and then never eat eggs again for another one two four years never or never in your life um 
Did you stop being vegan? How much time does it need to go uh, after you ate those two eggs to become vegan again? I mean, this is really, really, really tricky. So let me know what you think on the comments down below. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, although I didn't really tell you much. I was just trying to make sense of all of this. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Let me know if you want to see an MMA fight between John Venus and Vegan Games. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.